let's move on to some of the premium capabilities we've kind of started to allude to, which is one of them is like, how can we leverage the community more deeply? And I want to first start by encouraging you to, to think a little bit differently about your community. Um, one of the kind of the basic way of thinking about a community is that there's some staff that's maybe trying to engage the general public on some sort of a topic. Maybe you're just throwing out a survey and you want some feedback from the general public. And by thinking bigger, I mean, that's all well and good and, and useful, but what if you could have some of those people have um, identities in your system and really use their um, identity to actively engage them? Maybe they can follow what you're doing or you can message them. Beyond that, maybe you can recruit some of those people to become active, trained volunteers on, on some of the initiatives and projects that you're trying to achieve. And going even more deeply, what if your community included members outside of your organization from, say, nonprofits or from government agencies or from universities um, or from even the commercial sector that you're trying to, to work on a particular initiative on? Um, really trusted collaborators who have domain expertise and data that you can really need and leverage yourself, and what if you could kind of co-create with them? Well, the good news is with the premium version of the product, all of those parties can have an identity in your system um, and work on the same platform that you work on and you can share content to those people. Even better, you can start to think of them as being co-creators and add them to teams and really start to organize them and, and maybe even tasks them, task them with uh, things you need. And we do all this and we, we tend to organize our teams and our community around something called initiatives um, along with our content. And this is made possible, again, through the premium license of ArcGIS Hub. It includes that initiative framework, identities for community members outside of your organization, the ability to form teams, um, to have events, and, um, and gather feedback and integrate those feedback tools. So what happens when you activate the premium level, the application? When you license and activate ArcGIS Hub Premium, what happens is that a second organization, online organization, gets connected to your primary employee organization. And that community organization will house the identities for the community members, as well as any credits that they need to use to do their work, if they do any work for you. Um, so that's, that's all included in that separate organization that is kept separate from your staff and the content that you create. What's great, though, is that there's a special awareness created when, when Hub is activated and uh, the, your employee organization knows about the community organization and, work, and knows how to work with it. So what can these community users do? Well, they can do all kinds of things. I mean, starting from a very simple level, one of the things they can do is follow or subscribe to an initiative or a project that, you, uh, that they would like to stay informed on. You can send them notifications. They can sign in to access applications. So now if, if your community members have identity, you can start to ask them for feedback with their identities and to crowdsource data for you with those identities. They can register for events. They can perform analysis. So imagine you've added them to a team um, that you're, you wanna work deeply with them. So if they're a team member with you, they can create applications. They could even maybe work on your site and manage events for you. I mean, you can think of these some cases as virtual extensions of your st your own staff. So think about um, all the power that brings to you.